Okay, today we're going to be looking at a uh, holster solution for air guns, air gun pistols, or scoped gun pistols. Now, as you probably know, if you have an air gun pistol, it's larger than a normal firearm, typically. So, especially like a spring pistol like this, this is a RWS 5G. 177 cal brake barrel and I do actually have another Crossman that does have a pistol scope on it I don't have that out now so it won't be shown in this video but if you have even a firearm pistol that has a scope mounted to it you'll know that you can't use a normal holster for it, it just won't fit it doesn't work also really large guns don't fit in a normal holsters so what I've um, acquired here is a uh, tool holster. This is for like a cordless drill that you can get at Home Depot. I think I got, or any hardware store, I think I got this at Ace Hardware. And this, I believe, is made by Husky. I've taken the tags off and everything. Um, but it's probably about twice as big as a normal holster and that's due to the fact that it's meant for a large cordless drill. However, um, as you probably know, a drill has the same sort of general dimensions as a pistol, the same shape. It's got a handle, it's got a long part on the top with the bits that come out, which kind of simulate a barrel. So it does have a hole in the bottom to allow you know, the extra length of the drill to come out. In this case, it's the barrel. Um, what I really like about these is they're extremely durable. So it's made out of this um, Cordura fat, uh, material, I believe, and then it's got some, uh, you know, nylon webbing reinforced here around the edge. And it's very ergonomic as far as how it's built. The actual belt loop here is kind of angled so that when it's on your waist the uh, you know the gun can kind of come off at an angle and allow you to grip it so it's not like hugging your body so that's really nice and um, you know as far as the ergonomics are concerned it also has this, this pocket right here which would be for drill bits uh, that's extremely convenient for you know, somebody wanted to use this for a gun because you can put your ammunition in it. So as far as what I've got in there, uh, a couple containers of ammo or pellets. In this case, it's 177 and 22 cal. Depending on what gun I put in here, I'll have pellets. I do have a little multi-tool on there. And then a mini survival kit it just has matches needles some fishing line got it out of a cheap survival knife so i thought i threw it in there and then the bottom i have some tarred bank line so i kind of built a little you know mini survival kit slash tools slash ammunition pouch into it Let's fit right in there. You can put anything you want in there, obviously. But that's a perfect place for them. It has this Velcro strap. And you can either Velcro in the uh, up position, or you can adjust it to come back down. It's got Velcro on both sides, so it can secure your gun there. Now, I'm sure you want to know how this fits in. Slide it on in there. And then if you wanted to, with this particular gun, you wouldn't really need to Velcro it, but you can. So there you have it. And we'll just hang down like that. So in this case, you would definitely need a big holster because that barrel really hangs out the bottom. With the scope on a gun, what happens? 
is the scope will usually be up here so it won't be able to fit all the way in. The, st the scope will kind of stop it and it's not going to fit it perfectly. In fact, in some cases you might even need to reverse the gun like this to get it to fit in better, which is fine. But uh, my scope kind of does fit normal. So it'll actually come up a little more like that, probably about like that. And then you can actually use that strap to secure it. As far as the cost, I think this cost about 20 bucks. Um, you know, it's not too pricey, but it's a little more than your average cheap little air rifle or air gun uh, holster. But it's a, it's a great solution that I, I found online. Somebody was talking about it because nobody could find a, a scope, uh, a pistol scope holster that will fit their gun. So they suggested that you go with one of these hardware holsters. And I've seen people using these sort of um, you know, hardware pouches and utility pouches for kind of tactical slash survival gear and they do work really well. They, the same qualities that help people who are in construction as far as you know durability and utility they also work for people do, you know, doing survival and want some sort of tactical solution for their weapons. So I just wanted to share that with you for anyone who this might help let you know about it. Works out really well. I'm a big fan of this type of holster. So, um, you know, I have a lot of videos out there about air gunning, uh, survival, tactical stuff, knives, guns, all the cool stuff. So if you like it, make sure to subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.